Hello, Cameron here for Time and Trends. Today I'd like to just briefly talk about how to set up a barometer. When ordering a barometer, we carefully gift wrap it and send it to you and it will come in a white box like this. You can open it up, packaged well, a bit of bubble wrap around it. Inside the box, you will find a warranty book plus an instruction book. This comes in English and it's quite an easy to follow um, instrument guide. I have got an easy alternative to reading all of this is simply Google barometric pressure for your local area. So let's just use Auckland as an example today. Google Auckland barometric pressure today it read 1019. Here's a very popular barometer, it's the 1434B slash 06. 06 means black. Now, on the back, you've got two screws. One in the centre and one onto the side. We're going to use the one on the side. You'll notice it just, I'll get it closely to the camera, a plus or minus. Now, that's where you adjust. Do not adjust the centre screw. That's what keeps the housing in place. And once you undo that, it's quite difficult to put the screw back. So, get yourself a fine screwdriver. And I want you to adjust the back. Now, today I've just set this barometer up at 1030. So, I can show you how easily adjustable it is. Now... There we are. So we're going down to, I'll get it closer so you can see, 1019. There we are, just below 1020. There we are. That pointer is there for your adjustment. So you just put that on there today, and tomorrow, give it a little tap, or you might see later on this afternoon, that um, it's moved. What you're looking for is obviously change or fear. The higher it goes, thumb a rule, better weather. The lower it goes, worse weather. I hope this was of help and thank you.